welcome to chemistry classes in this video we are going to discuss about uh, naming of elements its atomic number greater than 100 naming of elements its atomic number greater than 100 also we will discuss in this video electronic configuration subshell electronic configuration and the periodic table okay so here first we have to check here uh, nomenclature of elements its atomic number greater than 100 okay so here uh, after discovery of a new element IUPAC give a temporary name okay we are going to discuss about we are going to discuss about uh, how to give this temporary name okay and here this temporary name depends on the atomic number after discovery of a new element IUPAC gave a temporary name there is a IUPAC system to give a temporary name okay so we are going to discuss uh, how to give this name okay so here the name is depends on the atomic number okay and also some numerical roots are used numerical roots numerical roots mean uh, here here uh, we will use some prefix here zero zero for zero we will use nil one we will use un two by three try four code five pent six hex seven sept sept okay eight oct nine n okay so here something you learned before in organic chemistry it is similar but uh, all not similar there are some difference okay so you can check here difference 0 nil 1 and 2 by 3 try 4 code 4 not tetra here it is code okay 5 pent 6 hex uh, 7 sept sept not x sept oct here n not uh, here nine n okay so this type of uh, prefix we used okay so how to use this prefix to give IUPAC name for a new element imagine one element with the atomic number 101 so 101 one one mean uh, it is un one mean un okay so we will use un zero it is nil okay un nil again one un nil un so look here un nil un at the end we have to add i u m all case at the end we have to add i u m i u m okay so its name will be un nilinium on nilunium okay and you can use it symbol uh, symbols for this element nil n on u by b you can use this for symbol so here on u nil n again on u so this will be symbol see here another example IUPAC name for the element its atomic number 105 so we can use again here one un nil here five five mean it is pent okay un nil pentium un nil pentium so you can use the first letter for the symbol u n p u n p first letter use capital letter first letter capital letter okay you can use symbols uh, like this last example here 107 107 so here un nil uh, sept 7 means set okay un nil septium un nil septium okay so here symbol u n s sept sept symbol s okay so here you have to remember this uh, different numbers and their uh, symbols okay this is called numerical roots so you have to remember numerical roots for 0 and 1 to 9 
zero to nine you have to remember their numerical roots then you can you can uh, name and you can find the symbols of this uh, elements it's atomic number greater than 100 okay next one we have to discuss here subshell electronic configuration and periodic table subshell electronic configuration and periodic table we know subshell electronic configuration subshell electronic configuration here subshells are arranged according to their energy 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s etc look here we have different type of subshell electronic configuration 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3p 4s up to calcium we will do like this 3s 3p 4s okay 3s 3p 4s okay but uh, after scandium after scandium there will be another orbital uh, 3d orbital is coming okay 3d orbital after calcium okay here till 20 elements 20 atomic number we have to follow this one okay after atomic after atomic number 20 we will follow this one okay 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 3d 4s here here 4s orbital fill first before 3d we will write like this 3p 3d 4s okay but here electrons are filled 4s before 3d clear uh, this will follow scandium to zinc scandium this one follow after scandium scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron nickel chromium zinc okay so this method will follow from scandium to zinc clear here here one is one one is one here this one represent principal energy shell principal energy shell or principal quantum number here one is one here n is equal to one we know there are four different type of quantum number okay principal quantum number here here one represent principal quantum number we know we know nucleus uh, an atom consists of nucleus around nucleus there are many energy level this energy levels are called principal energy level or main shell main energy level main energy level main shell or orbit or principal principal energy level you can say like this so here here one is one one atom its outer shell electronic configuration one is one mean this atom in in first uh, sorry here here one is one mean this electron in first energy level 3d6 3d6 here n is equal to 3 3d6 here n is equal to 3 so this electrons will be in third orbit it will be in third orbit okay so here n represent principal energy level these are principal energy level each principal energy level there are subshells these subshells are represented by spdf subshells are represented by spdf okay each subshells consists of different number of orbitals okay each subshells consists of different number of orbital s subshell consists of one orbital p three orbital d d subshell consists of five orbitals f orbital consists of f subshell consists of seven orbital okay so main energy shell subshell each subshell consists of different number of orbitals different number of orbital s 1 p 3 d 5 f 7 orbitals clear okay next one we have to discuss here uh, subshell electronic configuration and the period relation between period and subshell electronic configuration outer shell electronic configuration outer shell electronic configuration help us to predict uh, number of period of a of an element okay so here the value n value of outer shell electronic electronic configuration shows number of period n value of outer shell electronic configuration 
its mean we know first period there are two elements hydrogen and helium hydrogen atomic number one one is one one is one so here n is equal to one so it will be it will be first period here n is one n value 1 so it will be first period helium atomic number 2 1 plus 2 also here n is equal to 1 so here helium also first period clear next one see here when you check second period there will be lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluor fluorine and neon okay so here all this case here lithium atomic number 3 1 plus 2 2 is 1 so here n is equal to 2 okay beryllium atomic number 4 1 is 2 2 is 2 n is equal to 2 so here n value 2 okay you can check all here outer shell electron configuration 2 is 2 2 p1 2 p2 2 p3 2 p4 2 p5 2 p6 so all case n value 2 so all these are all these are second period Clearly, when you check third period, third period elements starting from sodium to argon, you can check outer shell electronic configuration and you can understand uh, all these elements are in third period. Clear. Also, we have, also we, dis we discussed before the ele subshell electronic configuration difference okay i told you before up to calcium this is the order 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p4s up to calcium this is the order of subshell electronic configuration there is some slight variation in uh, subshell energy okay in uh, after calcium there is some slight variation in the energy level that's why we will arrange electron a different way clear so here look here 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p4s okay so here outer shell 4 uh, okay so uh, also here calcium here calcium calcium here it will be 4s2 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 after 3p6 4s2 clear so here third period it will be sodium to argon and these elements potassium and calciums are coming in fourth uh, fourth period that's why here outer shell outer shell configuration 4s1 here fourth period outer shell configuration 4s2 here so here it will be fourth period clear so when you check this one transition elements transition elements transition elements you can check here periodic table transition elements transition elements are between s block and p block okay there are three transition series okay you can check in this periodic table uh, in transition elements there are three period three period in transition elements scandium to zinc ytterbium to cadmium lanthanum to mercury these are the three series three uh, period in transition elements okay so here scandium to zinc 3d for us outer shell electronic configuration will be 3d for us first uh, first period in transition elements 3d for us okay so our outer shell electronic configuration 3d for us that's why these elements are called 3d transition series 3d transition series because outer shell electrons are 3d for us that's why it is called 3d transition series okay ytterbium to cadmium ytterbium to cadmium 4d fibers you have to add one here 4d fibers that's why here outer shell electron configuration 4d that's why these elements are called 4d transition series 4d transition series clear after that when you check uh, next period in transition elements lanthanum to mercury lanthanum to mercury 5d 6s outer shell electron configuration 5d 6s that's why these elements are called 5d series so there are three series in transition elements 3d series 4d series 5d series 3d mean uh, scandium to zinc 4d mean ytterbium to cadmium 5d mean lanthanum to mercury okay so you remember this elements and the series 3d series scandium zinc 4d series ytterbium cadmium 
5D series lanthanum mercury clear okay next one here we have to discuss here sixth and seventh period sixth and seventh periods are coming in uh, f block elements f block elements okay so see here uh, sixth period sixth period in periodic table you can check here you can see here there are 32 elements in sixth period sixth period there are 32 elements and here sixth period so n is equal to n is equal to six outer shell electronic configuration okay look here this is outer shell electronic configuration here n is equal to six clear and this is outer shell electronic configuration four of five d sixes four of five d sixes that's why here these elements are called four of inner transition series before we discuss in d block elements uh, we discuss 3d series 4d series 5d series according to their outer shell electron configuration here here we have sixth and seventh period sixth period outer shell electron configuration 4 of 5d sixes seventh period their outer shell electron configuration you have to add one more 5 of 6d 7s look here 5 of 6d 7s this is the outer shell electronic configuration for seventh period okay so here this is sixth period sixth period it consists of 32 elements and this is outer shell electronic configuration four of 5d sixes four of 5d sixes also you can remember very easily four five six okay f d s okay four of 5d sixes also here five six seven five of six d seven s here four of that's why this is called four of inner transition four of inner transition series before we discuss transition series but sixth and seventh period these elements are called inner transition series the previous one transition series this one inner transition series four of inner transition series also these elements are called lanthanide series lanthanide series okay lanthanide series this element starting from cerium to lutetium so remember all those things uh, four of inner transition series starting from cerium to lutetium okay and the outer shell electronic configuration four of 5d sixes clear seventh period seventh period here n is equal to seven seventh period n is equal to seven outer shell electron configuration five of six six d seven s five of six d seven s that's why these elements are called five of inner transition series five of inner inner transition series these elements also called actinoid these elements are called actinoid actinoids are starting from thorium to lawrencium the first one cerium to lutetium cerium to lutetium here thorium to lawrencium okay so remember these things related to sixth period and seventh period clear <laughs> next one we have to discuss here group wise electronic configuration first we discuss electronic configuration and the period next one we have to discuss here subshell electronic configuration and the group group wise electronic configuration elements which coming in same vertical column same vertical column means same group they have similar physical and chemical properties example here group one elements lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium these are group one elements okay this elements they this element shows similar physical and chemical properties they are highly reactive even they react with the cold water okay also these metals uh, these elements are gray color they are soft metals okay so this elements shows similar physical and chemical properties so elements which coming similar or same vertical column or group showing similar physical and chemical properties okay the next one we have to discuss here electronic configuration and the type of elements electronic configuration based on this electronic configuration we can classify different type of elements s block elements p block elements s p d and f block elements 
okay before I told you P block elements and the F block elements how this how this block coming this is we explaining here okay yes P D and the F block elements this classification of elements elements are classified S block elements S P D and F block elements this classification depends on outer shell electronic configuration this is also depends on the electronic configuration outer shell electronic configuration okay but there are two exception case there are two exception case in here uh, in this concept there are two exception case hydrogen and helium helium we know uh, two electron it is one as two okay in periodic table in periodic table okay um, you can check here this is periodic table here in periodic table it is uh, you can see here uh, there is S block elements P block elements and D and the F block elements okay S P D and the F block elements okay so here helium it is two electron atomic number of helium uh, two one as two so actually based on outer shell electron configuration it must be in s block but here helium included in p block element with group 18 because helium neon argon krypton xenon this element they have similar properties that's why helium helium put in p block element with group 18 not in s block element so this is one exception case second exception case hydrogen hydrogen atomic number one one is one that's why hydrogen put in s block element but hydrogen also receive one electron and it will show negatively charged one minus one charge okay lithium hydride okay metallic hydride <coughs> sorry metallic hydride in metallic hydride hydrogen receive one electron and it shows negative charge we know but 17 elements fluorine chlorine bromine iodine this elements receive one electron and it shows negative one charge minus one charge okay so here actually hyd hydrogen in s block element but it also showing some characters of group 17 elements okay so there are two exception case in this concept hydrogen and helium rest of them uh, based on subshell electronic configuration we can classify s p and the d block elements clear okay next one we have to discuss here s block elements classification of elements s p d and f first one we have to discuss here s block elements s block elements mean in periodic table group one and group two elements together called s block element group one group two group one elements also called alkali metals group one elements are called alkali metals all group one elements their outer shell electronic configuration s1 ns1 first period 1s1 second period 2s1 okay so outer shell electronic configuration it will be ns1 configuration second group elements are called alkaline earth metals its outer shell electron configuration coming ns2 ns2 okay and here group one uh, s block elements are compared to other metals s block elements are highly reactive even they react with water they are soft metal they are gray color they do not make colored compounds s block elements okay and they have low ionization enthalpy this elements s block elements they have low ionization enthalpy comparatively okay and they have strong tendency to lose electron after losing electron they form positively charged ion group one elements in periodic table s block elements mean group one and group two group one elements lose one electron and form plus one positively charged ion example na plus li plus okay group one elements they have outer shell one electron they lose one electron and form 
plus one charge positively charged ion plus one charge similarly group two elements group two elements they have two outer shell electron they have two outer shell electron they lose two electron and form plus two charge positively charged two example magnesium magnesium 2a2 magnesium outer shell two electron they they lose two electron calcium group two they lose two electron and form ca2 plus okay magnesium mg2 plus sodium lithium group one na plus li plus okay so here here group one and group two together s block elements s block elements the compound of s block elements are generally ionic character compound compounds of I, uh, compounds of s block elements generally ionic character except lithium and beryllium lithium and beryllium also showing covalent character okay so other compounds of s block elements are are ionic character clear okay next one we have to discuss here p block elements p block elements p block elements mean group 13 to group 18 group 13 to group 18 these are p block elements okay and outer shell electron configuration ns2 np1 to ns2 np6 okay group 13 to group 18 so here group 13 its outer shell electron configuration ns2 np1 then ns2 np2 ns2 np3 then it will end in group 18 ns2 np6 this is outer shell electron configuration p block elements starting from group 13 to group 18 S and P block elements together we will say representative elements or main group elements in periodic table S and P block elements together we will say representative elements or main group element clear this is a subshell electronic configuration here in P block elements group 18 group 18 elements are called noble gases group 18 in periodic table group 18 called noble gases noble gases or or inert gases okay helium neon argon krypton xenon these are the elements which come in in group 18 these elements are called noble gases or inert gases they, they have complete outer shell electronic configuration ns2 and p6 ns2 and p6 their their electron configuration complete okay they have complete electronic configuration that's why these elements do not lose or gain electron okay that's why these elements do not involve generally these elements do not involve any type of chemical reaction but there are some exception case you will study in grade 12 okay so here generally we can say noble gases they do not involve any type of chemical reaction okay that's why these gases also called inert gases clear and here another one halogen in p in p block elements group 17 elements are called halogen this is group 18 group 17 elements are called halogen okay they have outer shell electron configuration ns2 np5 ns2 np5 this is halogen fluorine chlorine bromine iodine astatine these are the elements which coming in group 17 halogen ns2 np5 clear next one group 16 elements group 16 elements also called charcogen oxygen okay oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium these are the elements which coming in group 16 okay these are this they have outer shell electron configuration ns2 np4 ns2 np4 charcogen clear here group 16 and group 17 they have high negative electron gain enthalpy group in periodic table group 17 and group 16 in periodic table group 16 group 17 elements have high negative electron gain enthalpy okay also when you are moving from left to, to right in periodic table the left part of periodic table it is metal right side it is non-metal s block d block these are metals 
but when you are going to p block it is it is non metal so when you are moving from left to, to right across the period metallic character increases metallic character increases clear okay next one we have to discuss here d block elements d block elements also called the transition elements transition elements group 3 to group 12 elements are transition elements in periodic table group 3 to group 12 elements are transition elements okay or d block elements they have outer shell electronic configuration n d n d n s n d n s okay uh, they have outer shell electronic configuration n minus 1 d n minus 1 d 1 to 10 electron then ns 1 to 2 electron these are the general electronic configuration of d block elements n minus 1 d 1 to 10 electron n s 0 to 2 electron depends on each element okay so here n will change maybe 1 to 1 to 10 electron possible okay and here it will be n and here s orbital 1 uh, uh, 0 or 1 or 2 okay these are the elect possible electron uh, or outer shell electron configuration next one we have to understand here properties of d block elements properties of d block elements we know d block elements they are most of the d block elements are metals they are good conductor of electricity they are malleable and ductile malleable and ductile malleable mean we can change metal to metal sheet by applying high force that is malleable also metal can change to thin thin wire metallic wire by applying force that is ductile so metals are malleable and ductile d block elements most of the d block elements are malleable and ductile they are good conductor of electricity and heat and d block elements make colored compound generally d block elements are colorless but they make colored compound example copper sulfate copper sulfate blue color potassium dichromate orange color potassium permanganate purple color they make manganese potassium permanganate manganese there potassium dichromate chromium there these are d block elements and they make colored compound okay so here properties of d block elements they make colored compound and here d block elements they have variable oxidation state they have multiple oxidation state for example iron fe2 plus iron fe3 plus okay so uh, also copper plus one plus two cobalt plus two plus three so here d block elements shows variable oxidation state okay and we discussed d block elements they are malleable and ductile they are good conductor of electricity and heat and the d block elements d block elements or d block compound used as catalyst for example paper process paper process mean production of ammonia iron used as catalyst iron transition metal d block element vanadium compound v2o5 used as a catalyst in in contact process contact process mean production of sulfuric acid okay so here d block compound d block elements or compounds of d block elements used as catalyst so these are the properties of d block elements clear so here you have to understand zinc cadmium mercury zinc cadmium mercury they do not show d block elements they do not show properties of d block elements because zinc cadmium mercury they have complete outer shell electron configuration here d there is 10 electron s orbital there is two electron okay zinc cadmium mercury they do not show, they are in d block elements but they are not showing uh, d properties of d block elements because they have complete electronic configuration okay so this uh, these are the things we have to understand about d block elements. okay next one here last point in this video we have to discuss here f block elements 
f block elements f block elements uh, means f block elements mean sixth and seventh period elements together called f block elements okay sixth and seventh period elements together called f block elements f block elements also called inner transition elements f block elements also called inner transition elements okay f block d block elements transition elements f block elements inner transition elements also f block elements consist of lanthanides and actinoids lanthanides means sixth period elements are lanthanides seventh period elements are actinoids okay and these are the general outer shell electronic configuration of f block elements n minus 2 f 1 to 14 n minus 1 d 0 to 1 not 0 to 10 remember here 0 to 1 0 or 1 electron there is no electron up to 10 so you have to remember outer shell electronic configuration n n uh, n minus 2 here look n n minus 1 n minus 2 s d f s d f n n minus 1 n minus 2 here 2 electron here 0 to 1 electron 1 to 14 electron this is outer shell electronic configuration of f orbital uh, f block elements f block elements means uh, f block elements all f block elements are metals okay and f block elements mean we discuss lanthanide and actinoid here actinoids are radioactive elements actinoids are radioactive elements elements coming after uranium it is called trans uranium okay trans uranium elements mean elements coming after uranium they are trans uranium elements okay so here these are the things we have to discuss in this video you can you can review the video once again okay so thank you for watching this channel